the worst cyclone ever to hit Myanmar ravaged the country's delta regions. Millions lost their homes, livelihood, and loved ones. Among the hardest hit are children who make up about 1 million of the some 2.5 million people affected. Life for many in temporary shelters has been torn apart and difficulties mount day by day. I lost my mother that night. Also, my father is missing, but I believe he may be alive. At least a few hours a day, UNICEF and its partners are providing more than a thousand children with child-friendly spaces in the hardest-hit areas. This is one of the spaces located in Miao Mia, where nearly 200 children can come to play games, participate in lessons, sing, and just enjoy a safe oasis where they can speak about what they have gone through. When the water rose and came into my house, my mother, my younger sister and myself fell into the water. We were holding hands very firmly, but the wind and the rain were so strong, and it was dark as well. I lost my mother's hands. My sister and myself waited on a tree. By holding that tree, in certain parts of the disaster area, protection messages are broadcast over the local public address systems to remind children and their guardians of the need to watch for strangers. Local banks are also helping to announce these valuable life-saving messages. It has provided us with the, uh, the opportunity to give them key information on how to prevent separation, like teach your children the names, their names, your parents' names and townships. Um, uh, keep them with you, you know, don't uh, entrust them in the hands of people you don't know, these types of things. Child-friendly spaces and an important task in bringing back a normal to the Yen victims or cyclone nuggets, and yet another way in which UNICEF does whatever it takes to save a child's life. This is Sana Lin reporting for UNICEF, Unite for Children.